Alright you guys, today we're taking a look at how to remove Windows S mode in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now Windows S mode is a version of Windows that is uh, streamlined for security. It's basically going to stop you from downloading any sort of programs outside of the Microsoft Store. So if you go to download programs like Google Chrome, Firefox, or OBS, or VLC, or any other type of program, whether it be security software or anything like that, you're going to get an error message just like the one you see right there. When you go to download it, it's going to block it. And this because you're in Windows S mode. Now, if Windows S mode was pre installed on your brand new laptop or brand new desktop, then you can remove it. There's quite a few things you can do, and I'll talk about them in this video. So if you're sick and tired of seeing this error box popping up every time you go to install programs in a normal way, then I'll show you how to resolve this issue. It's pretty straightforward, uh, but Microsoft have made it quite difficult for you to actually uh, remove it. They want you to create an account and log into a Microsoft account and use the Microsoft uh, store for all your apps and everything else. As you can see here, we're in Windows 10 S mode. It's going to be the same whether you're in Windows 10 S mode or Windows 11 S mode. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. You will not be able to advance any further until you come out of S mode. Now, you can do this inside the uh, Microsoft Store by signing into a Microsoft account and opting out. But some people don't want to be forced to sign into a Microsoft account to opt out of Windows S mode. As you can see here for Windows 11 and Windows 10, I'll leave the link in the video description. If you want to just jump in to a Microsoft account and opt out by going into the Microsoft Store, you can do it. It's pretty straightforward. And I'll leave the link in the video description so you can follow along uh, with that particular type of method. But what happens if you don't want to have a Microsoft account or you're in offline mode where you don't go on the Internet? Now, Windows S mode don't just block applications. It blocks a lot of useful apps like RegEdit, uh, Command Prompt, and a lot of other Windows tools that you have built into Windows. And this can be quite frustrating when you need to gain access to it. So who is Windows S mode designed for? Well, it's probably designed for young kids or uh, people that are just of obviously not computer savvy on the internet and start going downloading all sorts of stuff they see on the internet and get themselves infected. So those types of uh, people will be ideal for Windows S mode. Unfortunately, majority of people don't want to be forced into using Windows S mode from the get go and they want to be able to opt out. And this is how you can go about doing it. So if we go into update and security here, what we're going to do is we're going to reboot the system and we're going to boot into the recovery options here. So from here, you can go into recovery and then go into advanced setup or advanced recovery. And this will start the PC into recovery mode. As you can see here, choose an option. So from here, you can now go into troubleshoot. So we're going to go into troubleshoot here and click on this one. And from here, we can now go to advanced options. And then we can now move over to command prompt and we're going to open up command prompt. This will force a restart of your computer and take you into the command prompt window. If you've got a password, you will need to put that into carry on. As you can see here, it's asking me to sign into this account. And now it's asking me for my password. I don't have a password on this account, so I'm going to continue. And here we are in the administrator command prompt. We can now type reg edit. And this will open up the registry editor. From here, we're going to go to H key local machine here. Highlight H key local machine and then go up to where it says file. What we're going to do is we're going to load a, a hive. So we're going to go up to file and then load hive and then click on load hive here. Now, from here, we need to load the hive inside our C drive where Windows is. So we're going to go onto the drop down here and go to our C drive because we're in boot X drive, which is our recovery drive. We need to select our C drive, then select on Windows. Come all the way down until you see System32. Click on this one. And then what we need to do here is go into config. Inside config, we can select this option here. So click on config. 
and uh, this will take us inside and you should see all of the registry hives inside here. What we're interested in is the system one. So click on system and click open. This will open up the load hive option. So inside here, we can now type in here, say for instance, offline, and this will load up our hive. Now you can put whatever name you want in there. Uh, we're just gonna go into offline. And once we look here, you should now see offline has been loaded up. And we can now use the drop down arrow, go to uh, control set 001 here, which is up near the top. There we go, open this up and then go to control. Once we click on control, open this one up. Just let me expand this and we're looking for CI here. So let's go to this one here and open this one up. And we want to go to policy. So click on policy and on the right hand side, you should see SKU policy required. Open this up and you can see we got a, a value of one in here and we need to change this to zero. Change this to zero, apply this by clicking OK and we're done. All we need to do now is close these little boxes off where we went to, go back to where it says offline, highlight offline or whatever name you give your hive, go to file and click unload hive. Once we unload this and click save, yes. So we're gonna save this and come out of here and click yes here. Now it's disappeared as you can see here. So now we can close off the registry editor here and we can now close off the command prompt and shut down the computer and then power it back on to boot the PC up. There's no way to reboot here, so we'll just turn off. Now you may notice a big difference in Windows versions and that's because I fully updated Windows 10 uh, right up to the latest version. While I was downstairs, I let it run a load of updates and now we're back at the desktop and it's fully updated. It did take quite a long time to fully bring this up to date. And uh, we are out of S mode here. And uh, that's because basically we've now opted out of Windows S mode. But you can go into the Microsoft Store and disable it that way. It's a lot quicker and easier. Uh, if you, This is really for people that are stuck in Windows S mode uh, and they're offline and they don't have uh, internet connectivity or anything like that and they want to get out of S mode, then that's basically how you can go about doing it. The other way would be to upgrade your version of Windows to another version of Windows, or you can even do a fresh install of Windows to another non-S version of Windows, which I would advise you to do because this step here is just a complete nightmare, to be honest with you, for the average person. And it would be a lot easier just to obviously log into Windows as an account, make a dummy account, log in, and then basically come out of S mode and then you can go back into a local account afterwards or you can jump through a bunch of hoops like this which Microsoft force you to do to basically come out of S mode or you can reinstall Windows. Either one of those methods will work perfectly fine. Now Windows S mode does still have its uses for people that continue to get adware and malware on their system and what this will do is stop a lot of this because you won't be downloading anything from the internet. You'll have to use the Microsoft Store to download all your apps. And again, this is how they want you to be safe. They'll force you to use Microsoft Edge and you won't be able to use any other browsers or anything like that. Once you're signed in, you'll be able to download applications from here. You will need an account. So once you get an account sign in, you will then be able to sign into here and basically opt out this way. So this is basically what they want you to do. Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. This is a way around without having to reinstall Windows. If you're in Windows S mode and you have no internet access, then you can use this method here. It does work, been using for many years and uh, it's been around for a while. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Also, if you haven't checked out our new merch, you can check out the link in the video description for my merch store. It's got a bunch of new designs in there. Thanks to Geo Sam for hooking me up with some of these designs. And again, there's some more to come, so stay tuned for those. I've only just uploaded these. He's done these for me ages ago, and I never got around to it. So they are up there now, and there's some designs on there that you can check out. A couple of new designs with some polos and T-shirts and mugs, all sorts of stuff like that. So anyway, I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.